Yo, what's going on, guys? And of course, we gotta talk about this Paul George news. Yes, the man, the myth, the legend is a guy that every team would like to have a piece of. We are a new Philadelphia wanted him and that he was a guy that if you were a fan of the you know the Sixers or the Orlando Magic he's a guy that you, our teams are potentially targeting so Ramona Shelburne says that the Sixers and the Orlando Magic are making a full core press towards trying to get themselves Paul George which in my opinion makes complete sense I mean, I've said this all offseason. Paul George is the perfect guy for Orlando. He kind of can, like, if Franz Wagner does become a second option, then Paul George can be a really good third. But if Franz never becomes a true second option, Paul George can be the second option, and then Franz can, you know, be a third. Because I, right now, I think Franz is more, his floor is being the third option, and his ceiling is a second option, while Paulo is that number one guy. And getting Paul George is, he's a guy that as he gets older, he could become a three or you can get him on a shorter deal and he'll be a two until you find somebody else, you know, down the road to replace him. But because of his style of play, is just a style of play that's just aging just really, really well. I, I'm i a fan. I'm a fan of his game. I'm a fan of his style of play. And I think it's a, it's a good fit for both teams to go after. And when we look at the report, I'll read you exactly what was reported today. There are two teams right now that are paying very close attention to Paul George. Obviously, the Philadelphia 76ers, as they want to replace the hole that James Harden and Ben Simmons left, while the Orlando Magic or the other team that they're looking for that other guy. Both teams have the money to throw at him and have a need for a wing just like him, a veteran guy. Every time I watch the Sixers, Ramona Shelburne says, she goes, oh, they could use Paul George. He could fit right there. And Ramona, I agree. I think that's a great take. And Paul George is from Los Angeles, and I know the Clippers are going to make a very strong effort to keep that. But money talks, ladies and gentlemen, and if the Clippers lose greatly i mean they've already extended they chose Kawhi already over paul george even though i'm one might agree that this team looks better without Kawhi in the lineup and better with just paul george but time will tell what decision they made i think this is goes to show that this is a team orlando that is trying to make the jump from young gum and full of cum to hey we're ready to party let's party bud and go for a you know a championship but that's just what we're hearing right now through the grave buzz and i want to hear your guys' thoughts in the comment section what do you guys expect and why i think it's a it's a, a big 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 situation to look at as more and more time will pass before we get to truly know what is it that the both teams are going after i think the Orlando Orlando's going fishing and so is Philadelphia we'll see how that all plays out but that's basically gonna be it for me bye